Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and or welcome to my channel, Naturally Key, if you're new. If you are new, please like this video. Also, ensure that you subscribe to my channel so you get notifications of when I post new videos. Okay, as you see from the video, today we're gonna be making vegan crock pot chili. Why did I choose vegan crock pot chili? Because I don't feel like cooking today. I don't wanna stay over a stove today, so that's why. Also. It's an easy dump and go meal. You literally just dump everything in here. The crock pot cooks it for you. You go on about your day, whether it be work, to appointments, running errands, or if you're off today, you just chill and relax with the crock pot do it for you. You don't gotta worry about coming home from work. Oh, what am I gonna cook today? Oh, I gotta go to the store. No, you don't. Dinner is already done. You literally just grab your bowl, scoop me some chili in there, go to your room, go to your kitchen, go to your living room, sit back, relax, and eat your chili. So, as mentioned, you're gonna need a crock pot. That's literally the only equipment you're gonna need. But you don't need the most expensive crock pot. You don't need the most expensive crock pot. I said it twice for a reason. Say it one more time. You don't need the most expensive crock pot. You literally just need a crock pot that has an on or off switch. Now mine, it does have on, off, low, high. But hey, tomato, tomato. Just a crock pot that does the job. That's all you need. For the ingredients, I'm going to be using the Morning Star brand vegan veggie crumbles. This is about 10 ounces and you get it for $4.39 at Kroger. Now listen to me, listen to me. If you guys know anywhere cheaper to get that please add that in the comment section groceries are expensive groceries are expensive i also got my bell peppers and onions i got two green bell peppers that i chopped up and one white onion i got my two cans of fire roasted tomatoes i got my two cans of chili beans and two cans of kidney beans that have already been washed and rinsed another secret if you have not been washing or rinsing your beans before you cook with them, please start doing so. The factories that, you know, process our beans and package them in the cans before, you know, they get shipped off to whatever store they're going to before we grab it off the shelf, they put an extra salt and AKA sodium in there as well as something to preserve the beans so it has a longer shelf life. Now, you know what I'm talking about. You know you know what I'm talking about. Because when you open your can of beans and you dump it, it's all that jelly stuff. And that don't look good to me. And if I'm being honest, I don't think we're supposed to be eating that. So just wash and rinse your beans. Just, just wash and rinse your beans. Also, to make the base, instead of using water, I'm going to be using a low sodium veggie broth. I just want more flavor. That's really the only reason why I'm doing this. It just adds more flavor. Now, the secret ingredient. This right here. This minced garlic. Try it. In the past two years, I've eaten garlic more than I have ever in my life. My lover, he loves garlic. But now, every time I'm cooking, I catch myself just putting garlic in everything. Now, you will smell the fragrance of the garlic when you're cooking, but you do not taste it when you're eating. That garlic just gives an extra mm to your meal. It's a little razzle-dazzle. But look, mind you, garlic is good for the digestive system. So please, maybe, you know, start adding a little bit of garlic. Let's see. If you want this to cook all day, cook it on low for six to eight hours. If you want to cook it on high, cook it for three to four hours for a shorter period of time. But regardless, the crock pot is all for you. So literally, I'm about to dump everything in here, season it up, stir it up, and let the crock pot do what it is. So first things first, I'm going to put my bell peppers and my onions at the bottom. This is why I got a spoon so I can scoop the rest. We don't waste no ingredients around here. No, we don't. And then I'm gonna top that with a one can of the fire roasted tomatoes. And then I'm gonna top that with half of the veggie crumbles. Then I'm gonna top that with half of the veggie beans. Right, and then I'm going to go ahead and already add one teaspoon of minced garlic. All right, 
I'm going to go ahead and put in half a cup of veggie broth. I know I'm using a full cup. I just know how to measure a half a cup. I'm about eyeballing it. All right, now look. I'm about to do my first round of seasonings. I like to season. I'm not gonna give you guys a description of, you know, how much seasoning to use. Season your taste. However you want your food to taste, that's how you season it, okay? So, again, I'm literally just gonna be dumping seasons because I eyeball and however I want to taste, that's what I do, it's simple. You know how our elders, they don't have recipes for anything? And we always ask, well, especially me and my family, my Southern cooking family, my, before I became vegan, I used to always want my auntie's recipe for something. And she'd be like, oh, I don't have a recipe. I just eyeball it. I just know what I'm doing. And now here I am doing the same thing. It's crazy how real turn around. Oregano. You need some oregano. It just enhances, I don't know, just enhances it. And I'm out of oregano, but I have more. Oh, is that back up? Cumin. You know, these uh, things are getting harder and harder to open. Garlic. This is onion powder. We gotta put garlic powder in here. All right, so we're gonna start this real quick. Let that all get some flavor in there. Then we're gonna go with our second round. Add the second can of fire roasted tomatoes. the rest of the veggie crumbles add the rest of the chili and the kidney beans and yes get this excess rinse because yes we need that that will help all my dirty dishes Add one more teaspoon of minced garlic if you so wish to do so. You don't have to, but again, it enhances the flavor. Now, we're going to add one cup of veggie broth this time, a full cup. Now, and we're going back in with all the seasonings. We got the black pepper. At this point, I guess I just need to make my own corpus because these, we're going to add some more onion powder. We're going to add some more cumin. We're going to add some more chili powder. Now, I suggest adding a lot of chili powder because you want that chili taste, that chili flavor. So, chili powder. We're gonna add some more garlic powder. Again, season to taste. I just know I like my food tasting a certain way. And I just bought this oregano, so I have to open it. You know, these packages, these packages do not be uh, doing what they're supposed to do. Like, I understand, I understand that you know you want to preserve it but jesus like can't even open it can't even open it and it would help if i had nails or something over here so after having to step off camera to get this oregano open i'm gonna put some more oregano in here like so like that just just you know as you see fit and then we're gonna give this a good stir then we're gonna plug it into the wall and then we're gonna let it do its job and i'm gonna leave it alone and then i'm gonna have my good old chili dinner for tonight and if y'all want to make this or if y'all make it please come back and comment under this video and let me know what you think or let me know how you make your chili and i will try to make it that way and taste it as well but until next time you guys bye